If Chameleon Twist wasn't weird enough, they done went and made a Chameleon Twist 2. DNW, I'm Patrick Griffin. We're playing as Jack. And we're doing Chameleon Twist 2, bitches. Starts out kind of the same, except we're on this teeter totter. Instead of going down the rabbit hole, the rabbit's gonna fall from the sky and shoot me up into the sky, apparently. Here's where we start, and here's what I turn into. I look a little more like a chameleon this time, which is always okay. There's the rabbit again. He'll take you to places to do like practice. Um, learning, but it's very similar to the first one in the sense of still extend your tongue, grab bad guys, spit them out. Nothing crazy. A few added things. One is this thing down here. Kind of gives you an upgrade. In this case, speed up. It only lasts for a little bit of time. But, uh, speed up, slow down, short tongue, um, multiple bad guys in the sense of oh, I'm hauling ass um like times three on whatever you eat and shoot out or times two or invisible you can be like an invincible ish this first level is obviously like to get you used to it again if you're not directly from chameleon twist one Oh, that was taken away. And that's going to be drink number one. We'll do exactly like we did in the first Chameleon Twist. Um, just every time I get hit. Simple as that. I think it'll be more this time. Oh, it's going to be more right now. Ooh. So that was also an added thing. The uh, little parasol you get. There's also an added tongue thing that you can spit out and attach onto walls just like that. And it's gonna save my ass from falling off cliffs for damn sure. Big. Um, that's just whenever I grab something and shoot it out. It's just gigantic sized. Which I don't know if that makes much of a difference. Oh, that's a one. Oh, fast again. I don't really need the coins that I just grabbed right there, but kind of like the crowns on the first one. Um, I think they're just a little extra something, except the crowns don't, the crowns in the first one led to that kind of billiards bonus room to get lives and stuff, but here the coins don't really do anything that I know of, as well as each level is going to have like a secret not secret, they're gonna have a carrot and carrots you can give to the rabbit to do like little bonus areas, but the bonus areas aren't really for free men or anything either, so none of that stuff. It's just get through the damn level and we'll call it good. There is six levels, just like the first one. And we'll probably do two per level, just like the first one. This is kind of a relative similarity to the first one when you beat the game. You kind of ended the game on some sort of like cloud level.
Oh, I did. That's a one. Oh, but it made it to the other side, so we're good to go. It's almost like a double jump, Mega Man X style. These carrots here are um, what you can give the bunny, give the rabbit to do some bonus stuff. But again, not for lives or anything really important, so. such a sick thing in there, I don't know. Especially in a spot where you got a whole ass. Here's another added thing. Instead of going in circles around left and right, you actually go up and down like this. You can just like you. We will later on do where you go clockwise or counterclockwise and you can spin yourself in a circle horizontally, but vertically is a good extra that will help and be more used in this. I think I grabbed one earlier, but I think there's a heart down here. This thing. So this is like a random heart thing. The uh, silver one fills up your life all the way. Big one, I think, gives you three. Small one, regular one, gives you one. And then those random ones, there's the, uh, like, an X. That'll just do nothing. Oh. Woo. I got for those 64 graphics right there. I just say mass. Pretty good game. Pretty solid. The last boss is actually pretty tough, too. So, they do good at uh, stepping it up from the first one. I'll start getting my drinks in. I just beat Mario, the side scrolling Mario Wii with Kevin. And we uh, got very close in drinks. Actually, surprisingly, we're always in relative competition on who's better than who at certain games, but pretty sure everything we've recorded and usually how it goes, so we're pretty damn even. Mario Kart, other than the Super Nintendo, which I've had more practice than him, so I understand why he didn't do as good, but, or as well. This thing moves, right? There you go. Um, but we got pretty close in points there, other than the Super Nintendo. And then this Mario was really close, actually. The only thing that hurt him was we did, uh, at the end of the credits, whoever had more points, we just drank the difference of that. And at the end of the credits, I think it was like 33 for Kevin. But at the end of the entire game, he only drank 35. So it was really just a two drink difference between all of the mushroom huts and all the extra stuff um, and all the extra deaths and drinks and D6s and stuff. He, uh, we actually ended. Oh, I knew I picked the wrong one. There's a drink. We actually ended only two drinks off out of the entire game, which is crazy. Crazy close. Same with Bubble Bobble. Same thing. We're usually pretty close on that, too, so... Really, one of us isn't really much better than the other one. Even though we like to try to act like we are. I don't think this is the right one. 
this area is kind of what it looked like at the end of the first chameleon twist. Kind of jumping through like the sky. I think it's this bottom one. And then I don't think it's this one. I think I always choose this one. Hmm. I don't think it's the front one. This looks right. There you go. But we drank quite a bit though, still. It was... I was 100 something, 150 something drinks. Same with Mario Galaxy 2. I was, uh... Drank like 200 on that, and... And Twilight Princess was like a hundred and something. All of them. I've, uh... So some of these coins are bad. Because they're jerks like that. And I'll probably get taken out by one of them at some point in time. Um... Yeah, Twilight Princess was a lot more than I was expecting, too. But, that's good. Hit my 4,000th drink at the end of Galaxy 2. Probably, I might hit five. I might hit 5,000 drinks, we'll see. Get into the nitty gritty on my games. Boss time. So you jump on this thing, kind of teleports you. Each boss is going to be played the same-ish. They have a life bar underneath there. This is weird coconut maraca man. And the bosses, you're kind of in a ring like this, and the bosses are going to spit out. Stuff like that that you can hit them with, and then you just hit them. Each one takes a little bit of chunk of life off, and you just gotta take them all out. Take them down. There's gonna be a lot of little mushroom maracas coming around, though. And obviously, when he starts getting closer to death, I think he starts moving a little faster. There's one. There you go. I ran right into that guy. That's two. Oh, he's coming up. Yeah, that's three. That's four. Oh, he's angry. That's five. Whew. Five more. Puts me at nine so far. Only got hit four times on that level, I think. I think. I'll probably recount these, obviously, at the end. So I missed three coins, I think is what it was. I know I purposely didn't grab one because I wasn't going to go get it. We'll jump to Carnival Land. So unlike the first one, I can't just go to top or bottom. I actually have to play one at a time. Each beginning of the level, like the other ones, has the rabbit to uh, kind of tell you about the level or if you need to practice because you'll learn um, certain things. Not learn, but you'll have to do certain things, so I want to practice it. Ha, huh, yay shit. Those guys shoot french fries at you. You're not going to fuck around with that. Always down to get a coin if I can. Like I said, I don't think they really lead to anything useful, useful. And then I'm always down to get one of these stars just because I like getting double or triple the amount of stuff that I eat. Or fast. There's definitely one spot where you do want to be fast in the second to last level, and that's always a good thing if you can. I'm not 
not gonna grab that star because I'm gonna have to ride this shit again. Grab some of these. Not really sure what those are. Truffles of some kind. the same flinging stuff like this. Ride the mouse. Oh, don't get stuck. Don't get attacked by the ice cream cone either. Oh, don't jump too early. That's one. See, now times two. So, whatever I eat. Double, except now I'm at a spot where I'm not gonna eat anything, so I'm gonna be riding these Ferris wheels. So useless, but you try, you try. You can hold the parasol for pretty much ever. It's a very good handy tool. Always miss that. And like I said, that's the best. The best tool for sure is the being able to tongue the edge of something so you don't die. This is pretty easy. Maze, just get into this, rotate here, and just rotate it all the way around. I don't know what the tree is for. Just to be a tree, I guess. Something you can grab onto, maybe. I'm definitely not going to jump for that. Only been hit once so far. If I'm calculating right. Oh, it's going to be two. Ooh. Thought I was going to get it. Teacups. If anyone's ever been to a carnival that has the spinning teacups. Good way to get nice and sick. You want to go on this one. This one will take you continue on the level. That other one was just to get the coin. Oh, 
Oh, I asked. It doesn't move that fast, but still want to go. Same with this one. Usually, you want to get in front of it because I think the carrot is at the end of this track. And I don't know if you can get it because I think the train stops right on top of it. Not the boss yet. Even though this is the same looking pad that takes you there, but we're gonna go inside the the tent now. We've just been on the outside. Now we're gonna be on the inside and do some acrobatic mierda. Oh. Try it again. This might though. Ugh. There you go. Maybe that. Run away from the Cinnabuns. Big. Big and slow are usually the two that are kind of useless. Here. That's one. Uh, that's gonna be two. Kinda want that coin though, Mr. Popcorn Man. Yeah. Ride this across. I wanna make sure you don't go too far. We also don't go too far the other way because sliding in this is very normal. It doesn't take much on an angled curve to slide right off the edge. You'll probably see it in later levels as well because I'm liable to fuck up like that quite a bit. Make your way over that. If you want to talk to the rabbit down there, he'll, uh, if you have two carrots, which I do, then he will take you to like a little bonus round. Again, like a little area to learn how to flip up and over those poles, how to spin vertically. But again, you don't, there's no like prize, I don't think. It's just to, just to show you. Now he's saying, we're coming up on the boss, so be ready, and we will be, I don't really need that, boss time. And it is a Big Mac, simply. The tiny ones. Eat the tiny burgers and throw them at the guy. You cannot shoot it through the giant pieces of. Oh, there's a fuck up. Like that. You can't shoot it through the giant pieces of stuff he throws, so. You gotta make sure he kinda shoots all of his innards. That's one. Short. That just means my tongue, unfortunately. Some of them, he can snipe and hit you pretty well, and then other ones, he kind of shoots off to the side a little bit, so. If you stay in one spot, he's liable to hit you easier, which is like that. That's number two. 
That's three. Well, that's technically two right now, because I already just marked the first one. So we're going to call that two before I confuse myself and lose count again. That's three. Boom. So four in total. His arms are flailing. Only missed three coins there, too. And we'll stop it there for now. First two levels, and we'll pick it up part two, the next two levels, and then part three. So it should be pretty easy. Three parts. So see you in part two. I'm at 16 drinks so far. Thanks for watching.